Sam Barber, Big 12 is on us. You've prepared all season for this, although it's been a strange season. Do you somehow feel maybe you're, you've been more prepared because of all of the things you've done to get these wrestlers wrestling? I, I do feel like we're one of the most prepared teams in the country, and I think we've talked about this multiple times this year, right? Like, but we showed up in August, and we had a great plan, and we were able to execute that plan from August until today with no pauses, right? So if, if you're just measuring things by straight um, objectivity, right, like we've lifted more pounds, we've ran more miles, we've hit more reps, we've wrestled more minutes, right? And we had six straight weeks of competition that nobody else got. So I mean, like, it's out there, the data's out there to say that we are extremely, this is an extremely prepared team for a Big 12 championship. So I think for us, like, I think, I think we're in a great spot. You know, I think we're in a great spot for a lot of reasons. And then one of those things is just like, our, when we going back to like, we just never would allow our circumstances to become bigger than our mission, our goals. We stayed focused on the fact that we would wrestle, we compete, and we'd grow our program. Like we never let go of those things. And then we added, you know, a, a fourth pillar to that is like, we're gonna push guys into the postseason and we're here. You know, we're here, we're one COVID test away, right? We're one COVID test away from getting on a plane and headed to Tulsa, Oklahoma and uh, going out and doing some great things. So I do feel like this team and, and this season is like we're absolutely as prepared as we can be and we're one of the most prepared teams in the country. And things are looking like you are one of the better prepared teams. You've got like eight, eight people placed in the rankings ready for the Big 12. Yes, yeah, so we, we have eight guys in the national rankings. Again, like an unbelievable program high. Like we've never had eight of our ten guys. You know, not to leave those other two guys out, they're equally as good and could be right there as well, right? So, but yeah, eight of 10 guys uh, national ranked this year, which is incredible. Um, and then eight guys seated at the Big 12 tournament. So, you know, like this is a very, very talented team. You know, one of the most talented teams we've had at Air Force probably since the early 2000s. So we're, I'm excited for these guys to go watch them compete. And uh, I think they're gonna do great things. And um, I think we're ready. But yeah, I think that part of it, like, you look at, like we talked about, like the work that's been done, right? Uh, since we've gotten back here in August, um, the, the, the product is produced, right? Like it's, we've won matches, we've won dual meets against Northern Colorado, you know, split with West Virginia five and five. We've been right there with some of the best teams in the country. So like the data is there and, and it shows up with guys being ranked, guys being seated and uh, putting us in a position to, now we just gotta sprint across the finish line, um, you know, and do a great job at Big 12 and extend our season for, uh, for all those guys headed to St. Louis. Yeah. What's the mindset? I mean, you and I can sit here and say you're, you're best prepared. What are your wrestlers thinking, and where are they at right now? Again, I think we've been beating the same drum all year of that, too. I think we're just going to go out, and we're going to try and be better than we were a week ago. We've talked about that, right? We're going to be better than we were two weeks ago. We competed better than we were last week when we trained. So we want to be better than we were. You know, so we just this constant idea of like a little bit better, right? Just getting a little bit better each week, 1% a day, right? Just going to continue to improve. Uh, we're going to go out there and execute. All right, we're going to go out there and do the things we're, that we're good at, and that's different for each guy. Each guy is different in different you know, positions, and we're going to put ourselves in those positions, and I think we put a lot of repetition into those positions, and guys are really solid we're, and going to go out and wrestle where we want to wrestle. Um, we're going to compete for 7 or 11 minutes, whatever it takes. You know, We're going to be the best conditioned athlete on the mat, and we're going to be able to fight you know for every second every minute every position and then we're going to be grateful you know we're going to be grateful for the opportunity um, again I think a lot of these guys every single one of these guys even some of them were in high school last year the freshmen right felt what it was like to lose the opportunity to compete um, when everything shut down and we're right back where we were uh, you know 12 months ago we're right back there and I think they all remember like what that felt like so to go out there and you know and uh, and treat every competition like it might be your last, right? And, and have the gratitude that comes with that. All right. Sam Barber, good luck. Big 12 championships. Appreciate it. Thanks.